Welcome and hello. This is Caffeine Zombies with some bite-sized news. Today is July 17th, 2024. Senator Bob Menendez was found guilty of federal bribery charges that resulted in hundreds of thousands of dollars coming to him in exchange for enriching businessmen in the Egyptian government. Hurrah! This is an instance, at least, when the investigations and the court can be bipartisanly agreed upon as having worked. It works! <laughs> he was found guilty on 16 felony charges and surprisingly didn't get pardoned, nor did other Democrats claim the system was rigged against him. And though he's running for office, no one came out to claim that this was a problem or that it was being rigged against him during an election year. In fact, the leader of the Democratic Party in the Senate came out and called on Menendez to do the right thing and resign. Seriously, the chasm that exists between Democrats and Republicans right now, in particular Trump supporters, could not be better on display. Let's talk about another dinosaur up for sale. Apex, the Stegosaurus skeleton. This is the most complete Stegosaurus skeleton since Sophie. I know, I didn't know who that was either until this story came out. Apex stands at 11 feet tall and 27 feet long. This thing is big and it's up for the bidding. The Stegosaurus is from the Jurassic period, only some 150 million years ago, or thereabouts. This dinosaur has a few misconceptions about it that scientists are now learning are incorrect. It was once thought that the Stegosaurus had two brains. It doesn't, just one relatively small one, and it has plates, they thought, for defense. But the more that's been learned about this species, the more they realize these plates were too thin and fragile to likely do any good defensively, but would have been great for showing off, like some birds do, and for regulating heat. North Korea has also lost something, another elite to defection. Which may seem obvious to some of us in America, but with Kim Jong-un's dictatorial running of North Korea, it's actually kind of surprising that more do not defect. Since the 1990s, about 34,000 people have defected from North Korea, most of them being women. In recent years, more elites have started to defect as a response to the economic-related issues that spawned from the pandemic era. These elites defecting deal a political blow to North Korea, but also may be able to give better insight into the actual functioning of the current North Korean government. In particular, this elite, the Cuban diplomat Ri Ilgyu, whose defection has come with a multitude of questions and interviews. Uh, I have one of those from the Chosen Daily in the links below with some interesting reading. And if you've stuck around this long, please make sure to like and subscribe to the video. It really does help the channel. Thanks.